and welcome to my reading, which is going to be looking into whether your divine complement is growing with you. True twin flames always grow and heal together. If you choose to move forward, they do as well. Even if you can't see what that looks like, if you are becoming ascended, enlightened, they have to be too, and they will meet you there. And on that note, we can begin with the first card. It's a very good start, Twin Flames. We have come together to embody the vibration of unconditional love for each twin and to assist others in opening their hearts. Right, the truth is you'll know what's happening in your union between you and your beloved by feeling within. So don't be tempted to look over to the twin flame over there because that's creating separation. You don't want to get caught up in feeling like something's happening other than what's going on within. That will tell you the truth. And they're appreciating you right now because you've been appreciating yourself. When you romance yourself and love yourself and pamper yourself, it's very much appreciated. By bringing that into your relationship and your union, it comes to the point where you realise that it's been with you the whole time. There's no waiting. Your union's already here. This energy of love that you're feeling is what your union feels like. Healing, comforting, soothing yourself. That's the love of your union. Your union really loves being held, comforted, soothed right now, being peaceful. The more you do that within yourself, naturally that will manifest your union. And there we are, awakening, energetic upgrades, a new way of being, integration. Yeah, your twin flame is indeed awakening with you. And you don't even have to visualize doing that with them or being together with them. It's all the same, you and the divine and your twin flame are all one in every moment. By loving yourself completely and enjoying being loved, enjoying loving yourself, that is the twin flame, that is the divine. It's you and you. When you can be with all of yourself, you can be with your twin flame in the physical, be with all of them. And that means being vulnerable. When you're feeling down, when you're feeling upset, you have to go to those places in consciousness where you feel upset and you love yourself anyway. You choose to hold yourself anyway. That's very deeply attractive to you, Twin Flame. And remember to love them anyway. Whatever they're going through right now, that's very important. That will open the door to romance. It will attract this love into your life. There are many reasons why someone might be experiencing the illusion of separation. This is just a process of opening those energy channels up that has been blocked. It's a journey of unblocking those within the inner energetic system. It's completely an inner journey, not an outer journey. This is the way to union. Communication is opening up between you within these inner channels. You are sharing divine wisdom and the breath of life, movement, faith, more expansive perceptives. Consciousness shifting as you move towards a more innovative way of existing by breathing love in all the places within that are asking for love. This is enabling you to fly higher than you ever have before. And the rate at which your twin flame is evolving is increasing exponentially as well. Thanks to all the inner work and self-love and choosing love that you've been doing. In recent times, divine knowledge is coming in for the both of you. Divine awareness is coming in. As you continue to take back your power from what doesn't serve you, your twin flame is doing the same. So keep going. All the good work that you're doing really is having an effect. You don't have to look for the results on the outside. Feel them on the inside. Know that you're going to have all your dreams made manifest. You're going to have your union. You're going to have your one true love. Okay, everybody, I'm going to end this message here. Hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.